Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Peace and Carmen. I'm Carmen and welcome to your February reading. Um, and happy birthday! If you're new here, welcome. I do monthly tarot readings. I also do personal tarot readings. So if you're looking for a personal reading, be sure to check the description box below. Uh, you'll be able to find my information in there. <sighs> All right, Aquarius. So this February, for the month of February, I figured I'd probably focus more on love because I feel like that's probably going to be on the top of everyone's, uh, you know, radar this month. But we'll also see what comes up. If I'm getting messages for other things, uh, I'm going to bring them up. But we'll see what happens in all aspects of your life. But this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, if this reading is not resonating for you, be sure to check out some of your other placements. Maybe um, those planets are having more of an influence on you this month, okay? All right, Aquarius. Well, let's just jump into your reading. All right. Do you want to take these? No, but we do want to take that. Okay. So, first, guys, out here, we have the Mother of Knives and we have the Ace of Sticks. I'm going to show you these cards in just a second. Perfect. I just wanted to get these last couple out. All right. Eat a basket in reverse and let's see. I choose, I do pick up cards that fall on the ground. I know some readers do not. Um, I personally do. Okay, so um, I realize not everybody reads like I do, but this is the way I read. So let me show you these cards. We have the Mother of Knives. So we are action oriented this month. We are <laughs> trying to manifest the abundance because there are definitely things that are coming for you. We have the Ace of Sticks in reverse. We have the Eight of Baskets, and we have the Nine of, uh, the Eight of Baskets was in reverse, and then we have the Nine of Baskets. I hope you can see these um, cards here. I know they're kind of muted tones, but I really felt a connection to this deck this month, and I also have the herbs for you. I'm definitely more of a um, herbalist, so I'm going to give you some herbs that might be good for you to have this month. So, let me tell you what these cards are saying to me. So I think we've been a little bit, we're getting a little impatient right now. I feel like you have been so much on your game. You are the mother of knives. So you have not only been doing your due diligence of preparing, of studying, of working, um, you are being recognized for that. So just know that you are being recognized. All the effort that you're putting in isn't in vain. You are doing incredible things Aquarius incredible things and they are paying off okay but the ace of sticks in reverse and the eight of baskets in reverse is telling me that the universe might be making you wait a little longer um they're saying that hey you've got a lot of things coming your way the nine of baskets you have a lot of things coming your way there is a plethora of food and goods and money and wine um, on this table. It's all yours. It's all coming to you. Um, but the universe just wants you to wait a little bit. I think there is also a calling to you to be grateful for what you do have right now. Although I'm sure Aquarius, um, that is something that you've been living in and striving in striving in. I don't think that you have lost your gratitude, but if that is speaking to you, maybe, um, just doing, uh, some extra prayers of thanks, um, some extra prayers of, you know, manifesting some of this stuff, um, would be helpful. Uh, definitely give some recognition where it's due. Uh, there are a lot of things that you have been supplying for yourself. Things that you have been doing um, have been paying off. You've been getting the You've been getting these things to you. You, I think that you see it, Aquarius. I think that you see that there are a lot of things that have come to you recently. Um, things that you might not have been expecting, um, but things that you're definitely uh, happy that they showed up in your life. So I think that you have noticed some of these things happening. Um, but I also don't think that that is... 
I don't think that you have gotten everything that you've asked for. I definitely see that there are um, travels that we want to do. Clearly right now is not the time that we are going to be traveling. Um, some of you, I think, might be in the cards for you. I think some of you might be going on a little trip and maybe you're waiting for that. Um, but I think most of us are probably um, getting a little antsy with having to to wait for for things like that for the travel um, we probably might have had uh, less funds coming in for some of us um, that was being kind of withheld for a little bit that's coming back it's coming back strong it's coming back heavy um, a lot of us might be doing some shopping this month. Uh, we might be getting showered with some gifts, which is seems appropriate since it is your birthday. Um, so I definitely some some gifts and some <sighs> lots of lots of opportunities for you too. I think that the gifts, although some will be material. Um, some of them are going to be opportunities for you to gain this stuff and earn it for yourself. Let me see what other cards want to come out. All right. And you know what? I was planning on just picking up a couple of these cards from this deck, but for some reason they're telling me um, keep going to this deck. So I'm going to listen. All right. Let's see. So, there we go. All right, here we go. So, we have the Son of Sticks. We have the Six of Knives. We have the Strength card. And I'm sorry, that was in reverse the way I lifted it up. It made it um, go right side up but that was in reverse. So the strength card in reverse. The nine of sticks in reverse. John Horse, a major arcana. And the father of knives. So this is actually, that John Horse was the first major arcana out for you, Aquarius. Very interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, so Aquarius, I'm getting a couple messages here. Um, if you have a child um, and they have a, if you have a child and they're having some attention difficulties, they're having some issues with ADHD, they're having some issues with, um, you, you see that as they're growing, they're struggling in certain areas. Um, I think that they are having a hard time. Um, they might be having a hard time in school. They're just having trouble concentrating. That's what I'm getting. They're having a hard time concentrating. Um, I think that what these cards are trying to let you know that if this does pertain to you, if you do have a son or daughter, but I think that this is specifically going towards more of a son energy. Um, it is the son of sticks, but um, things are gender fluid, so. Um, this could definitely be a little girl as well. Um, but the pent up energy I think is definitely a cause of being kind of cooped up. They have a lot of excess energy. Um, we are still in the middle of this pandemic so there is a lot of things still going on. It's hard for them to, um, they're being forced to grow they're being forced to grow a lot faster than some of us did with this pandemic. Um, they are having to learn to adapt at a rapid pace that um, even adults struggle with. So just know if they're having these challenges, um, I think that this, this card is just trying to 
give me to give to you a little reminder of just all the changes that your child has had to go through for this and they're they they have to adapt they're still phasing they're they're um morphing into um, a new way of things. But I do think that they're going to be very successful. Um, they kind of, I feel like they just need to really play right now. They need to use their imagination, okay? Um, they need some time to to just allow their innocence to, to flow through them. Um, I just feel like there is a I hear a stagnancy, I hear a dimming of their, you know, their energy, their, that, that, that youthful, vibrant, creative, imaginative energy of, of the child. So um, just know that if you have a child, that might be uh, part of the issue. Um, if this is you, this also could be you, Aquarius. Um, if you do not have children and you're not seeing this, this could also be you. Um, if you're having trouble concentrating, if you're having trouble feeling like you are as bright and um, clear and, you know, radiant as you usually are, if, if, if you're not feeling that way, um, just know that that is probably what it is. I think that you are going to have to probably dive into your creativity a little bit more. Um, start... I keep seeing a snake shedding its layers. That's what I keep seeing. So, um, that's what you also have to do. Um, and it's just having to adjust to, um, new, a new world for us, right? Um, it is going to take some work um it's gonna take some vulnerability which I don't know if you're going to feel like doing Aquarius I don't feel like you are going to want to be very vulnerable but it is going to call for that um I definitely see a little bit of you know especially with that irritation of um you know not not seeing your harvest yet Having put so much work in and not seeing the harvest, um, it had caused a little bit of um, defensiveness and irritation. Um, perhaps a little, some self-doubt, but self-doubt that we don't want to claim. If that makes sense. So Aquarius, I feel like there might have been... Um, I think that out outwardly you will say, um, no, like nothing's gonna scare me. I got this. Um, come at me, bro. I'm I don't I don't care. I will I'll destroy you. You know what I mean? Not like that, but you know what I mean. On the outside you 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 seem very strong, very rock solid, but on the inside I don't think that, that I don't think you really feel that. I think that on the inside there are times where um you feel like you have to put this this strength out there, but really, um, really, you're tired. You're tired, and you just and you don't want to. You don't want to have to defend defend yourself here. Hmm. So. I know that this was supposed to be a love reading, but those were messages that I was getting, so I had to share those. So, when it comes to love this month, there is a call to you, a push to you to really, to not doubt yourself, do not doubt your abilities to create the love that you need because you do have the John Horse in reverse and the Father of Knives. So you do have um, the ability to create a person who is um, perfect for you, Aquarius, perfect for you, someone who's wise, someone who is uh, responsible, someone who who acts in a very, you know, just manner, um, holds themselves at, in, uh, you know, in a good manner. They, they're the ones where you could 
you could bring them anywhere. You could bring them anywhere and you wouldn't have to worry about them. You know that they will, they can hold themselves just fine. You're never, you're, you don't have to be scared that they'll embarrass you in some way. They have their, their act together. So, and I think that that is what you've been looking for right now. Um, I think for some of you, um, you might have just gotten out of a relationship. Um, and I think that that could be why, um, this is feeling a little harder to achieve right now. Um, why we might have feeling a spurts of self self doubt. Um, so that could be why I think that if you are just getting out of a relationship and especially if there are children involved in this relationship, um, I think that that is, that is probably why it is becoming a little harder for you to um, imagine this new person. And I feel like there, there, you might even be um, so far in your thoughts into thinking that maybe this person doesn't exist. Maybe they're not out there. Um, that is limiting your manifestation abilities. And especially we had that full moon the other day. Um, this, this is not the time to limit your manifestation abilities because you are very strong, you're very powerful, you're in this mother and knives energy, you, you're getting things done, nothing can stop you, you're, you're, you're working fearlessly. Um, so, trust and believe that this person this new person for you is out there and they will be uh, looking for you as hard as you're looking for them. Don't doubt in your ability to love again um, and don't doubt in the ability for someone to love you because you give a lot, Aquarius. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot on the table, okay? Um, also, we definitely don't want to settle at all, okay? So if there is somebody that you are talking to that just doesn't seem like they are, um, you know, that they're mature enough, that they are uh, willing, they're able to get as deep as you, they're willing they can be on the same level as you, if you feel like they can't, you know, communicate at your level, that's a sign to you. It's a sign. <laughs> And um, one of my favorite quotes, I think, uh, I think it was Steve Harvey that said this quote. Um, he said, don't get in the habit of con collecting red flags, right? That is a red flag. If this person isn't, um, you know, up on the same level of game as you are, it's a red flag. Um, and it might be time for you to, uh, you know, see what else is out there. Because I do think that there is quite a bit out there for you. This is too many cards. I'm not taking them. I just want a few more cards here to finish off your reading. I'm just going to use this other deck. Um, some herbs for you. I was going to save until the end um, to tell you some of this. But I do want to let you know. I think basil. Adding basil underneath your pillow. Adding basil into your teas. Into your um, yoni steams. If you're a lady. Um, in your baths. Doing some, um, you know, divination with, with basil will be super helpful, super powerful. Um, I think creating some tinctures is going to be nice for you too. So if you are into making tinctures, definitely try that out. Um, slippery Elm, another really great thing for you right now. Um, I think... Especially, you know, Slippery Elm is a demulcent, so they are going to be coating, they're soothing, um, they're giving you moisture, and the fact that it is, you know, super cold, at least here in Wisconsin, I think that's probably why um, we might be needing some, some demulcents. Also, Slippery Elm is very good for if you're having a cold or things like that, it'll soothe that um, sore throat. So if you are experiencing sickness, if you're having a sore throat, um, adding some Slippery Elm into your teas will be very helpful for you. I think that will help. Um, but I think that softness entering your body, entering your tissues is gonna be helpful for you because I do see um, that there might be a little bit of just, you know, this defensiveness on the outside. Like I said, I don't think inside matches the outside. I think right now we're just trying to act a little stronger than how we actually feel. So we have the Three of Cups that came out, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Of course, you have the Six of Pentacles. You're always my, um, you know, humanitarian sign. The Knight of Pentacles. All right, cool. We have the Six of Wands as well. Perfect. All right. 
I'm so happy the Knight of Pentacles came out for you, Aquarius, because I think that this is um, exactly what you needed to hear. The, the Knight of Pentacles is something stable. It's coming in slow, but it's stable. It's something that is long lasting and will be here for a long time. That is what is being, that is why you're, you're having to wait. That is why um, the abundance is not to you just yet. Um, we don't want it to come super fast and fizzle out, right? This is something that is taking its time to approach so that it will stay for a while, stay for a, long, a good long time. And it's what you deserve. Um, be careful that no one's taking advantage of your kindness this month, Aquarius. Um, I don't think that you'll have too many issues with spotting people out who, um, take your kindness for weakness. Um, but just be aware of that, okay? Just as the month progresses, just make sure that you are, um, listening to your intuition. Um, because I think it'll be talking to you, definitely. Uh, I think that you, your friends, your family, um, and everyone around you, <laughs> honestly, the Six of Wands card, for me, is 100% recognition. This is, um, and especially with that coming out after the Knight of Pentacles, um, it's a recognition for, for the fact that you have worked so hard, you've been so patient, um, and now you are seeing the abundance and everyone else is seeing that abundance on you. Okay, um, people are excited for you, people are watching you, um, so be aware of that. They are definitely watching you right now, Aquarius. Um, <clears throat> they want to see your moves. They want to see how you move. You, you seem on the outside, you look like you have everything together, Aquarius. So people are really, you know, idolizing that. They really see that. Um, you influence a lot of people. So, definitely be aware of that, okay, Aquarius? Because um, people are, are definitely watching you. And, I def and, you know, it's funny because I do see, like, if, throughout this reading, I've been seeing a lot of eyes. And the eyes have been standing out, but I didn't understand why they were standing out. I couldn't understand what they were trying to tell me. And now I see. Um, I think that, one, a lot of eyes are going to be on you. A lot of eyes are going to be watching you. Um, so just be careful of that, especially in those times where you do um, start feeling a little bit more vulnerable and feel like you need to protect yourself. Because during that time, people are still watching you. So, and you don't want um, their gaze to, um, you don't want them to see a, a poor or negative reaction to you because you do influence people probably more than you could imagine. People really do look up to you. Okay, just to finish off your reading, I'm going to find you some oracle cards. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of you are going to be dating around this month. <laughs> I think you're going to be meeting new people this month. Um, you definitely have an attraction um, that people are really noticing. People are definitely noticing that. I don't, and I don't think it's requiring like much beauty effort for you Aquarius I don't think that you're sitting there doing a bunch of you know makeup routines I don't think that you're getting facials and stuff every day it's just it's literally just like oozing out of your skin <laughs> like you it's your aura it's your aura it's your energy it's your energy and it is bringing people in they're loving it all right let's see the oracle cards are sticky. They do not want to come out today. I always feel like if the cards aren't coming out, there's a reason for that, and it's because there's another message that I'm supposed to be telling you. So, that's why I continue to talk while I shuffle, because I feel like um, I didn't tell you everything that you needed to know yet. Hmm. So... I think ancestors are also watching you. Um, if you are doing any type of divination this month at all, um, definitely uh, give praise to, to that that you, you know, your higher power. Um, 
because they are watching your moves. They are they're they're hearing you. They're hearing you, especially if this is something that you've been practicing um, for a while. Your voice is getting stronger and louder to them. It's becoming more clear. The what you're wanting is becoming much more clear to them. So they are going to be um, giving you this stuff. Probably also why you've had to wait a little bit. Maybe they were, you know, hearing you loud and clear. Now they're like, oh, okay. Gotcha. Trust the universe. Okay. Was that not the message that needed to come out? That's why the cards weren't coming out. That's why, Aquarius. That's why. They're like, yeah. Don't forget about us, Carmen. <laughs> Let them know we see that we see them. Let let them know that we hear them. That we that we get it now. Before we didn't we didn't get it completely, but now we get it. We're giving it to them. Oh yes. Okay. Ease and grace. Yes. So I I'll just read these off quick. Um, healing energy and spiritual growth. So I think these oracle cards are the perfect way to finish off this reading for you, Aquarius, honestly. Um, I think that the way that you are going about this is something that is extremely graceful. I think that this is something that um, it seems like you have no problem with, even though there might be times where you have self-doubt um, appearance-wise. You're coming out of, you're coming out like, like, you have everything under control. You are like the Buddha of, of the signs right now. The people are just like, just in, captivated by, by your energy. They really are. Um, you have a very strong aura right now. So I've seen auras in the other cards as well. But if you look at these ones, every single one has this strong energy field around them, this strong circular, um, you know, energy. Uh, I think that that is, I think it's important for you to, uh, you know, do some protection, um, make sure that your energy is grounded, make sure that you are, uh, you know, maybe doing some meditations to just keep that energy at bay so that's not um you know or not at bay but you know just keeping it not overwhelming um and keeping it keeping yourself protected so other people don't disrupt this this energy field that you're creating for yourself um <clears throat> and i think that it will help with some of this defensive energy because if you feel as if you are protected spiritually i think that you'll be less likely to be defensive and more likely to uh start manifesting all that you all that you've been wanting so i hope this helped Aquarius, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, comment down below. Let me know. Um, subscribe if you haven't. This is a new channel. It's a growing channel, but it's a lovely channel. And <laughs> I really, uh, I really just appreciate everybody that has supported me this far, truly. So uh, if you um, feel like subscribing and joining, I surely appreciate it. So, um, but otherwise, I will see you next month, Aquarius, for your March reading, and have a great February. Bye!